setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. And welcome to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. Glad you've joined me. Always happy when you're here with me so we can talk about all kinds of things. But today is Political Tuesday, so we're going to be talking about politics in the state of California. I'll be right back. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. So I decided to talk about California today on a Political Tuesday because... This is a state that has gone bonkers. I don't know if you've been watching Gavin Newsom, who's the governor of that state. Worst governor ever. So they have massive fires going on in the state, all over the state. And he came up with the statement that that's it. It's nonsense. That's why there was so much pause there. It was absolutely nonsense. Commercialism. Climate change. Capitalism. Is what he is blaming. The fires on. Nonsense. Now here's a state that used to take. Pride in its in its state. And used to protect the citizens so greatly. But over the past few years under the Democratic leadership of the state, they've been slowly cutting away at the things that really made sense. And that was having inmates in the firefighting units going out and making fire lines around communities, uh, f- uh, fire, uh, electric, electric lines, everything. They were out there clearing away the shrubs, clearing away all the weeds and everything that has grown up. Remember, they had a big rain last, last year. So they have a lot more weeds up there on those hills. Now, I like Long Beach's. Long Beach, California, they had a good idea. They brought in goats and ate away all the weeds on the on the hills. You don't see any fires down there, do you? <clears throat> but you see it in communities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, up in the northern uh, counties. Because they're trying to protect the birds. They call them rare birds that they don't want people in there destroying their habitats. I mean, they are so stupid that they have put everything else in front of the safety of Californians. But listen, it's not capitalism. So Gavin Newsom said he wants to take over PG&E. So would you want a state to take over your electrical grids when they can't even control the homeless situation or the needles on the streets or the roads that are crumbling or the healthcare systems that are going out of business, and you want them to now manage the electrical grids. Just another way for a socialist government to take over the the utilities so they can control more of you. I, I tell you, what made me upset when I was living there. Now, it's been July is when I moved away from Los Angeles. I had to. I just could not take it anymore with the high taxes, the high gasoline, everything else that went high, high, high. It goes higher every single day because socialist Democrats are touching everything now. So I used to, when I had my home up in the hills, I had a big backyard, well, not a big backyard, but it was a good sizable backyard that was filled with palm trees and grass and and 
fruit trees and everything else, fig trees. And so I watered my, my lawn every single day. I was the only house in that neighborhood that had any kind of vegetation in its backyard. Everybody else had concrete. Everybody had concreted in their backyard, so they had no watering going on. So I would get these letters from the Los Angeles uh, Water District saying that I need to come in to attend a water conservation training program because I was using too much water in my backyard. Now, I was the only one that even had a backyard. Everyone else had no backyards. But they wanted to have more control over you so that you could no longer wash your cars in your in your driveway you could no longer water the shrubs that needed to be that needed a liquid to, to continue living so they wanted to control more and more and more and more and more out of you and even los angeles had a big issue because the lawd water water district lawp or something like that <clears throat> made so much money that the city used to take money out of out of the water and utility district, LAWP. So this is what happens in California is that even in the state legislature they they raised the, the gas tax, right? So all of a sudden now government, the state legislature, the governor are siphoning money out of that gas tax that was designed to cover roads and infrastructure because they have all of these pet projects that they have. They want free education for illegal aliens. They want free medical for illegal aliens. They want all of this stuff that keeps going on and on. That's all free to everybody else except for the citizens of the people that actually live there legally. So we have this fire burning because they have done no, no brush. Uh, what would you call it conservation? I'm not quite sure what you call it, but they did nothing to worry about the weeds and everything else that were growing up because they knew they had this big, huge rain coming, and then they had a heat wave during the summertime, so everything dried out and was set on fire. But they went in and they cut nothing down. So if you want to blame the fires in California, you should blame it right at the governor's desk, right at the state legislature's desks. But you keep voting in these people who do absolutely nothing for the state but do everything else for everybody else. I was I was kind of happy when the president went to tweeting in the last few days that he was going to cut off emergency aid to the state of California because they've wasted so much money and did nothing to protect the citizens of California. I I look at all of the companies who have left. You look at Nissan, Toyota, um, what's that big uh, Nestle? They all have left California and moved thousands of jobs to other states where it's tax friendly, business friendly. And now, now the state of California governor is now saying that because of the fires, it's due to capitalism. Blaming it on capitalism. It's either capitalism that they blame things on, or it's climate change. Capitalism, climate change. I'm surprised they didn't say that the fires are racist. I mean, that's probably the next step. They're going to say it's going to be racist now. But this is what happens when you have bad people in, in, in places where they're making decisions. And right now in the state of California, they have so many people who have the Socialist Democratic Party line, and that's that's all they vote. They vote straight down the party line on socialist issues. And they make it harder and harder for people to do any business in the state of California, even for the little guy who wants to write articles for a newspaper or a magazine and if he does it more than 30 times now he has to be deemed an employee of that of that newspaper or or, or business venue that's that he's writing for more than 30 times 30 times or more i mean he now has to become an employee so all these side gigs and and 
and and just writing for the fun of it. And if you're getting paid for it, they want to control the state of California now wants to say, no, you're an employee. Now, these guys, because I've, I've known a lot of writers in Hollywood, you know, write for Playboy, they might get a thousand bucks for an article. Could be a whole bunch of different things. But it's not very much that they get. So these little side hustles that they write for don't make all that much money. But if you do it more than 30 times, maybe 500 bucks, 200 bucks, I mean, it's very small that they get for these articles. And now they have to become an employee of that company if they do it more than 30 times. This is how stupid the state of California is. Very stupid. And then the Franchise Tax Board, they did a big article this past week on the Franchise Tax Board and how aggressive they are about coming after people who are doing businesses in out of the state of California, but their revenue might come from the state of California. They want their money off of that, even though that they're living in their in their residency is in another state. I'll give you a good example. I had a client who got into trouble with this franchise tax board. And the way it went down was that he owned rentals, real estate rentals in Texas. But since he lived in California and was making his calls to his tenants and to repair and, and places like that, the state of California said, well, you're really conducting a business in the state of California, even though those properties are in Texas. State of California went after him on that. Now, how much work was that? Hardly any work. I mean, maybe one call a month or one call every three months. I mean, it was very little calls that he had to do. But the state of California said, listen, if, if you're making calls from the state of California on your business over there, that income is being conducted out of California. It was a fight. But that is how California is. And, and I, I want you to understand something. When you become a socialist-minded state or country, taxes become a big part of that power because they have got to pay for all of their free stuff that they're giving away with more and more taxes. There was even a point in time where they they flung out this thing to see how it would stick on the wall. They wanted to tax. Every time that a satellite flew over the state of California, they wanted to tax it. Do you know how stupid that is? That's how dumb that the state of California thinks and the politicians that are there. That tax revenue, they're looking at all kinds of different ways to tax tax everything. Plastic bags, tax on it. You want to uh, pl- use plastic bags? Tax on it. No more plastic straws. If you use a plastic straw, you're going to get fined. The list goes on. Of stupidity after stupidity after stupidity. So Gavin Newsom thinks that capitalism is the is what is to blame for the fires in California. Now, capitalism is what creates jobs in the state of California. So if he doesn't want capitalism in his state, don't blame him. They can move out any given time. Other businesses are doing it. I did it myself. I moved my business to the state of Florida. Hated to do it. I was born there. That's my home state. But it had to be done. Companies can move out of the state of California because it's it's a burden to be there. And the state governor and the legislature hates capitalism. They hate They hate businesses. They hate to create jobs. That's how stupid that they have become. And I'm going to bluntly say it. Stupid. You cannot continue to tax and tax and tax and tax and not get anything done for the state of California citizens. You have got roads that are crumbling. You've got potholes all over the 
all over the cities. You've got the grid lines and the infrastructure and the and the bus lines, and they want to spend billions and billions of dollars on this rapid train that goes from Los Angeles to Nevada. Why? Or from Los Angeles to San Francisco, why? It's worthless. It's totally worthless. And it keeps going up. That bill for that train system keeps going up. It doesn't go up by a couple of bucks. It goes up by billions. And yet they keep pushing it through. And it's going to be one of those things that is going to go belly up. Because there's no longer going to be anybody in the state of California that can even afford to go to Las Vegas because they're paying everything in taxes. Can you imagine that they're at almost $5 a gallon while the rest of the countries, well, I mean, here in Florida, I think we're paying, what, two twenty six or something like that a gallon? Up in South Carolina, it's even cheaper. I remember one year, one time last year, it got down to a dollar seventy seven, I believe. And I said, I cannot believe this. In California at that time was paying three eighty, three ninety, something like that, almost four bucks. And I'm thinking, how stupid can California be? Because they have this socialist mentality that they need to tax everything but pay for nothing. Pay for nothing for the citizens of the state of California. Because capitalism is evil. Capitalism is bad. They hate it. It causes fires. That's how stupid that they think. Yeah, there is a uh, campaign at the moment to to uh, get Gavin Newsom out of office. I understand. I understand that it's going full speed because the citizens of California have just had it with Gavin Newsom. Now, what I don't understand is. And I don't get this whatsoever. We have some politicians that need to go. We've got Swalwell, we've got Pelosi, we've got Adam Schiff. They need to leave California. And we've got a whole bunch of, we have people in the state legislature and the Senate that need to go also. But Californians keep voting them in for some reason. I, I don't know if they're really paying attention to what they're voting for or who they're voting for. But we don't see the GOP doing anything whatsoever. They don't raise any money to support any... I I feel so sorry because there's this guy named Omar. And he's running against Maxine Waters. And he did hmm, not too bad in the last election against Waters. But the, uh, the GOP did not help him one bit. Zero. He had to do it all on his own. So I'm just wondering, do we really have Republicans in or conservatives in the state of California anymore? Or do they just call themselves that, but really they're Democrats? And I think I'm right on that assumption, is that they're Democrats. They are not conservatives. They are not Republicans. And so nothing gets done. No, no one challenges these these people who create so much havoc on government and on the American people. So we hear nothing from the GOP in California. It's just slowly, idly sitting there, twiddling its thumbs, doing nothing. Not even raising a challenge, a good challenge, on these seats. And it's very difficult and sad to see. Very difficult. Now, I'm an independent, and I went that way four years ago because I saw that when the Republicans were in charge, they were getting nothing done that needed to get done. And then when the Democrats take over, then the Democrats are doing zero, nothing. They're just focused on impeachment. So I decided to become an independent and, and so that I could say, okay, I'm going to find the individual who I think will get the job done. I'm not going to go by party line. I cannot do that anymore. I've got to base my opinion on people who are trying to get things done. So far, the Republicans have stepped up in the last 
two years. They're starting to, not in California, but on the rest of the United States, they're starting to step up and take, and take charge. California is maybe, maybe a dead state. It may be one of those states that we can no, not do anything about because people don't care in California. So the responsible ones, the ones who have been paying the taxes in California, are leaving the state. There's a mass exodus of people leaving the state of California. Just for the sole purpose of trying to get away from such high taxes and get into more affordable housing. So we have a big thing going on that needs to be addressed But the state of California and the governor doesn't care that people are leaving. Even in New York, they don't care. Well, Trump's leaving, good riddance. Well, basically that is the feeling that all government officials have if they're in a socialist democratic state. That's what they feel towards Americans leaving their state. Good riddance, let them go. Even the Governor Brown said that. Well, they want to leave, let them leave, let them go. We don't need them. And now we have Gavin Newsom who's there. He doesn't care because the fires are blamed on capitalism. So he doesn't want businesses there. He doesn't want those companies that are going to provide jobs to to the state and bring in tax dollars. No, he doesn't want that. He just wants pure tax dollars. He doesn't care about jobs. He doesn't care about employment. He doesn't care about infrastructure. He doesn't care about anything that has to do with the citizens of California. He doesn't care. What he wants to do is have your tax dollars so that he can have his socialist government in place. That is his goal. And that is the end of Political Tuesday. If you have any questions or comments, the fastest and best way is to send me a text at 818-252-5682. 818-252-5682. This is Mike Lodge for the WBT. Think about your vote. It's very important. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. This podcast is produced by Michael Lodge, fully focused on content.